This lecture is your introduction to reproductive systems. So we're starting with some vocabulary and some very important concepts behind the vocabulary. So to begin with then, vocabulary. Gonads. These are the specialized organs in which gametes develop and Gametes, then, are the haploid cells that fuse with other haploid cells in order to form zygotes. So your gametes then are your egg cells and sperm cells. So what do I mean by haploid? You've heard this before, but we're going to go over it now. So haploid means having only one chromosome, and this is abbreviated 1N then, from each pair of chromosomes that are found in most other cells. What I'm getting at here is that your sperm cells and your egg cells have half the number of chromosomes that your cells, say, of your skin or your liver do. So in a human being, an egg cell has 23 unpaired chromosomes and a sperm cell has 23 unpaired chromosomes, while a liver cell or a skin cell has 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. All right, so egg cells, 23 unpaired chromosomes, sperm cells, 23 unpaired chromosomes, egg cell and sperm cell come together, they fuse and you then get a new cell with 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. So as I said, haploid, that's what your sperm cells and your egg cells are, having only one chromosome from each pair of chromosomes that you would see in most other cells. So this means then that when two Haploid cells come together so that is when egg and sperm 
meet and fuse. You get one cell. with a full set, that is to say 2n, then with a full set of chromosomes. So, basically, each single chromosome from the original egg or the original sperm cells, then each single pro chromosome from them now being paired with its partner chromosome from the other haploid cell. So with its other partner chromosome, I'll even say that, with its other partner chromosome from the other haploid sex cell. So this new cell then is diploid, which is abbreviated to N. That is It has chromosomes in pairs. So a zygote is what I've just been describing then. This is the diploid cell resulting from the fusion from the fusion of two So the zygote then is what we have been describing there, right? The diploid cell. The brand new diploid cell that you get from the fusion of two gametes. So I'm going to go over this using humans as an example. Other Plants and other animals will have other numbers of chromosomes in pairs, but let's just go over this for human beings now. So humans then, most of your cells, so your skin cells, your liver cells, this kind of thing, most cells have 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. 
but an egg cell, which is, of course, haploid, has 23 unpaired chromosomes and a sperm cell is also one N and it has 23 unpaired chromosomes. So when the egg and sperm of a human fuse, then the resulting zygote, the resulting single cell then has 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. And that's how it works.